Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, so if you're on Patreon, <clears throat> you already know that I had a BGS submission that went out, I think, less than 10 days ago. Well, I probably shipped out about 10 days ago, but man, I'll tell you what, BGS has got some pretty good customer service, and I just got it back in already. I mean, it was very, very quick, and I'm hoping that these things don't fall down. I just pulled the plastic wrap off of these cards and I've got back my submission and what I sent in was basically all of these cards that PSA just won't grade anymore or they choose not to grade them right now because of the release information or in cases like this one they just don't do their homework and I'll tell you what BGS Beckett had some I was very impressed with their customer service but we're just gonna get into it I'm gonna save that for another video where I kinda of talk about you know, pros and cons of using Beckett. So this is a Pikachu. It's the Ghost Pikachu. This one got an 8.5. The corners is what got the 8. It just got 8.5 and then the centering and surface both got a 9. Now if you uh, saw that other video then you know that I actually sent in two of these and this one would technically be a little bit higher than that other one because if you look at it it goes into subgrades. They're both 8.5s, but you can see on this one on the left, the edges are graded at a 9, whereas everything else matched up pretty much the same way. So that's pretty cool. We got two 8.5 Ghost Pikachus. Now here's a nice one. We got a 8.5 Charizard. I was actually expecting to get a little bit better, but um, in fact, it's it's just like an 8.5 plus, I guess you could say that, since there's three 8.5s and then you got the one 9. But the centering, edges, and corners all got the 8.5. Next up, we have a 9 on the four position only Blastoise. And I guess you could say this is a 9 plus, since it's got three 9s and one 9.5. If, say if you had two, two more of those 9s and then a 9.5, then you actually would have got a 10. Or no, sorry, we've got a 9.5. I think the way BGS works is you have to have um, it, the minimum it can come up is 0.5 from the lowest one or something like that, and then you got to have at least three at the grade in which it's at to get that minimum grade. So like this one, it could have had nine, 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 and then an 8.5 at the very least on say the surface, and then the the best nine that you could technically get would be like a a nine, a nine, a 9.5, and a 9.5, so you can get plus plus. I guess there's like a 9 minus, a 9, a 9 plus, and a 9 plus plus. This would be a 9 plus plus, because if you look at it, it's got two 9.5s and then two 9s. If either the corners or the edges had gotten a 9.5, then it would have been, it would have gotten that 10 grade, or it would have gotten a 9.5 jump, which that was pretty close. That one looked good on the back there. Centering is what I would have thought it would have got a 9 on. This one's 8.5, 8.5, 9, and a 9.5. So it doesn't work like where, say, if corners was 9 and surface was 9, then this right here would actually be a 9 overall. But even though that's 9.5 and that's 8.5, and the average would bring it to a 9, it's not the same thing. That's not really how it works. The most it can come up to that 0. 0.5, and you, it's got 2 at 8.5. So you're not going to be able to bring that to that 9 grade. Overall, I, I did get to see these in the email before they went out, and I'm pretty satisfied with the grades, mostly 8.5s or 8 to 9s. And then there's some that I, I am a little wondering about, and I'm just ready to see those. I did have another Charizard. I'm wondering where that is, because maybe they didn't put an order in the package itself. So this is a 9+, plus, 4 position only, Ampharos. This would be a 9++ plus, plus Ampharos. Next up, we have a 9 plus. And we still have one more. This one is also a 9 plus plus. So, very close to getting a Gem Mint one on that, which is 9.5 with Beckett. Here we've got a Mint 9, so this would be a 9 plus for the Alakazam 4 position only. And now, if you're going to notice something with this, they change how the, like what, like color. That little label is like those are silver. This one is going to be white. You've got a near mint. The centering is 9.5, which, why well, wouldn't it be? You've got corners, edges, and surface at 7. 
And that 9.5 doesn't bring those 7s up. To be honest with you, 7 is pretty generous in my opinion on this card. But what's special about this one is it has that ghost print. And then if you look up here, it actually says ghost stamp on it. So I find that really cool. 199-02. Not even sure what the heck that's supposed to mean. Like, for the year. It's 199-02. Yeah, I don't know. All those other ones say 2002. That one said 1999. I'm not sure how that label come out like that. Now we've got our first Gem Mint 9.5. This would be a 9.5 minus, I guess. Because if you look, it has three 9.5 grades and it has a 9 on the corners. And again, you see that they changed this from a silver to a gold. So that's really cool. Doug Trio is definitely one of the harder ones to, have, to find. Next up, we have a square cut Suicune. Let's see, Surface got the 8. You know, I really thought these were very clean. I was expecting to get some high grades on these square cuts. Like super clean front, back, surface, all that. Looks like centering got the 8.5. You know, I kind of understand that. You get edges at 8.5. And corners and surface. Still very cool to have it finally encased. It's not like it will be going anywhere. And then we have here an 8.5 on the Shining Gyarados. Very cool. And these are square cuts. I got a full hollow set on the Neo Rev. Next up we have Shining Gyarados, or <laughs> Shining Magikarp. We just had Shining Gyarados. And this would be an 8.5 plus. So I got the two Shinings already out of the way. Next up we have Alakazam with a 6, which yeah, I mean, that's pretty perfect. There was a ding in the top of it. Surface got a 5, so I guess maybe once you get into the little bit lower grades, you can jump a full grade. It's got, it's got an overall 6, 8.5, 8.5, 7, and a 5. Very cool. I'm glad that that one is graded. If you haven't noticed or you haven't seen the other videos, it has a hollow full shift. You can see where it's not lined up correctly. And that is why PSA would not grade this one. They have they graded a few other ones, but just for some reason they wouldn't grade that one for me. And now we have the Articuno, which has like a major shift. And you know, I think an 8 is really generous on this. Funny, funny enough, that centering is what brought it down with the 7.5. If I remember correctly, I think it had a good bit of scratches on the surface. But man, you can tell that it has shifted way off. And it does say right there in the, in the label, foil shift. So that's cool. Next up, we have a square cut Kangaskhan with the 8.5. Most of the, uh, I have so a few more Kangaskhan square cuts and I have some base set ones. Most of those, I pretty much expected a decent grade on. Looks like the centering hit this one pretty good. I said the surface did as well, which Kangaskhan is really tough anyway. So making it square cut makes it that much more harder. This one is... Half a point less than that one. The corners on that other one were nine. This one's 8.5. Still a near mint mint. All right, so we are through row number one, and there are two more rows. And you guys, as you're looking at these, this is the first time that I have seen these as well. So this one is a partial square cut. They even labeled it partial square cut, so that's pretty cool. You can see on the left side, it's got two squared off corners. Got an excellent mint six. I very much agree with that grade. I'm not going to argue with that at all. I was just happy to get this one encased. Next up, we have Nine Tails Square Cut, nine point or eight point five, and you know if that surface had been an eight point five, you know, this would have actually jumped up to a nine. Centering was a little bit more often. I, I wouldn't give that centering a nine. It's kind of funny. You look at these two. You know, this one's shifted to this direction and it got a 7.5, and that one shifted that direction, and got a nine on the centering. I'd I'd say they're about the same with how much width, you know, difference there is. Maybe they were factoring the fact that it's square cut, so it changed it up a little bit. So we got an 8.5 on this nine tails as well. And then we got a third 8.5, and then we also got a 9, which this is a 9 minus, this is an 8.5 plus plus, which I think is one of the benefits of 
using Beckett, they give you these little subgrades. You do have to pay for them, but you have the option, which is nice. We have another square cut Kangaskhan, 8.5. We won't spend too much time there. We got a Gyarados, 8.5 square cut. That one again had a surface ding or surface issue with it, so I brought that down. Uh, this square cut got a 7.5. Must have missed something on the corners. That brought that down quite a bit. Maybe that. Uh, I would think, you know, if I had regraded that one. Oh, there it is. Front right side there. That's what got it. On the back side, you could kind of see it, but you couldn't see it as good as that. So that's probably why that one was brought down so much. Everything else was a 9. All right, so next up, we got an 8 on this one. 8s get that little white label. Once you get to the 8.5, that's when you start getting the silver, the special ones. Square cut Gyarados. Here we got a square cut Houndoom, and if some of you will notice that this is actually, it's got the hollow foil all over it. So I think most people consider that one the error, or that one the, yeah, the error, where it's got the extra hollow all over it. A lot of them stop right there with the clouds. Jump Pluff with the 8, yeah, centering on that one threw that off, so I totally get that one. Otherwise, 9, 9, 9.5. Yeah, that could have easily been a, a mint 9. This one says the corners is off. Let's see if there's a ding somewhere. I don't see a ding on the front. Let's see if you guys see one. Well, if I ever cared about condition in the future, maybe that would be one that I regraded. But honestly, I'm just happy to have them. These are you don't find square cut near Revelation hollows that much. As far as I know, the ones that I picked up on from that design. Wizards of the Coast designer, those were the only ones that have come up. I mean, I'm sure there have been some here and there. Surface killed this one, 7.5. You don't see too many like that. Cool, we got the inverted Dragonite. And it's got an 8899. And you can see it's got that inverted stamp there, which means basically the sheet was put in there upside down. So it was stuck right there. And it's supposed to be right there. Overall pretty good. On the right day I can see that getting a 9. Next up we have Mewtwo. I paid $1,500 for this if I remember correctly. Or I traded $1,500 in trade. I'll probably never get that back out of this card. But I just wanted it because it has no stamp. You can see right there. There's clearly no stamp. They labeled it no stamp. Very cool. Very cool. Here are two cards I really, I'm really glad got graded. So this is a Mewtwo, and if you notice up here on the top, it's a match print. The corners is what brought it down just a little bit to the 8.5. You can see on the back side it is white, it's square cut. You can make out some wording right there. If I hit it correctly, you might be able to see it. This is digital, and you can actually see print right there. It's, and this is base, I think it's commercial base printing. And then some kind of slap a tone, I don't know. But the full word says match print, and that's where I, I coined it from. When I got these from, again, that designer. He had these cards and a few other things. And then the other one that I kept was the Mew. These are the only two that I kept, and this is actually a 9 plus. It's got a 9.5 on the surface, and then the other three are sitting at a 9. Let's see if it says it on the back here. Yeah, you can actually see right there it says Imation Match Winch. That will finish out match print, and then it'll be commercial base printing. Very cool. I was, I was so glad to get those graded. If nothing else, it's going to prevent them from being damaged in the future. Check it out. We did get a 9.5 on this one, which they forgot the subgrades. So I may have to call them about that, because I definitely paid for the subgrades on everything. And... Uh, yeah, so that's, that's very strange. I wonder if it's in the system. But got a gem mint, jumps up to the gold. Next up we have the Dark Raichu, and it's blurry. See that? It's not super blurry, but you can definitely see it. And they label it as blurry too, I guess. Makes my eyes hurt. It hurts so I'm trying to look at something like that. Got another square cut Kangaskhan. We've seen some of them. Got another square cut Gyarados. And this next one is an 8. Bumping this one up, we have a 9 on the Mewtwo. 
It's a 9 minus. The corners rolling at an 8.5. Oh, here's some good stuff. We have a 7 on the no damage 9 tails. And let's check out the subgrades. Got corners and edges at 7, surface and centering at the 8 and the 9. Which overall, I mean, that's pretty good. I wasn't expecting that high of a grade. You can definitely tell there's damage along the edges. Next one is a 6.5. Got corners at 6 and edges 6.5. Moving on to the next one. This one's a 7.5. I wasn't really expecting any that high. Let's see what we got. Looks like it's a 7 on the edges. So, I mean, that's even like a 7.5. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a plus. Definitely the best. Very cool. I love the no damage nine tails. This one got a 7. Again, I mean, that's a pretty solid grade for the No Damage Nine Tails. I mean, there's no way unless, yeah, unless someone just had one of these and they set them back. It's in perfect condition and it never got graded. Like, there's no way you're going to see tens of these. The ones that are still sealed up are all going to have glue damage. So this one I was really surprised by. So if you look at this one, this one says 8.5 on it. You know, look at that. Corner, surface, edge of centering, 9. Now you look on this back side. Maybe you'll notice it. But it's not in 8.5 condition. My opinion, I think I was expecting like a 6 out of this sucker. But you know what, I'm glad that it, I mean, it got graded that high. I just think that, man, they were really, really generous on this. And the fact that the, fact that the, the edges are at 8, I think maybe because it was non-hollow, so you can't really see stuff. But if I remember correctly, there was like almost like a surface bend right here. But you can see there's whitening on the edges for sure. I don't know. I just, I remember that the surface of this card was not smooth whatsoever. So I wasn't expecting an 8.5. This was probably the surprise for me of the grades. I was expecting, you know, a few more 9.5s in the other ones. And then this, I was expecting like a 6 or something on. Next up we have Alakazam. Got the Mint 9 on that one. And uh, I really hope that Anthony Caserta, Mr. Deli Bird Deals, I hope that he sees these, or he, that he likes this kind of submission. I know it's not PSA, but it is uh, Beckett. Uh, you were my first patron. You signed up at the very, very beginning for the PSA graded submission stuff. So thank you for that, and you've been on here ever since. Blissy with the 8, centering through that one off. Wonder how uh, Jim Mint feels about about this one. I know he likes him some Ampharos edges. This looks like the surface and centering is what got it. If the centering had been better, it might have even pulled the nine. So got 8.5 on the Celebi. Then this Crobat only got a 7.5. Just crazy. I mean, look at the the quality difference of those cards. Got Deli Bird. Inte with the nine. Check that out. And then we're going to finish off pretty strong. We've got us ho oh. So the very last one with the mint nine square cut ho oh. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. My very first Beckett submission, I made sure it was all cards that I would remember. And I plan to set all these back into my personal collection where they were before. Maybe I'll sell some of the square cuts on the base, like the Mewtwo's and stuff that have multiples up. But a lot of this stuff is just going to um, go directly back into my personal collection. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the, B the Beckett cases and uh, why you prefer PSA or if you prefer Beckett.